Rain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode of Rain Access Solutions, we have an Orico 2-bay USB 3.0 offline clone hard drive dock. It is a multifunctional device that lets you open two hard drives at once or do an offline clone as stated here. It means you can clone two hard drives without even connecting them to a computer. Let's unbox the package first and see what's in the box. So we have the main unit and some USB cable and a power adapter and a manual. So we only have four different items in the box. If you are new to this device, I suggest that you take a look at the manual and read some of its instructions and if you have previous experience or prior knowledge with operating devices like this one then you might or you may be able to skip the you know reading the manual but as you can see the manual has information that is relevant with how to operate this device here's the included power adapter and if you look at the power output i guess it is yes it's 12 volts under 3 amp the length of its cable is um around one meter or less The connector is pretty much a standard DC connector for a regular DC port. The included USB cable is 3.0 and as you may have already known, it is faster than the 2.0 USB cable. And you can tell if it's a real 3.0 cable by looking at the color of the USB connectors. If it's blue then it's 3.0. If it's black, then it's 2.0. And just to clarify, when I say it is faster, what I mean by that is the data transfer between your PC and the device. That's the faster rate that I'm talking about. The, the speed of which the data transfers between this, those uh, two devices. The other end of the USB cable is type B, and this is what you use to connect to the device. The other end of which is USB type A and 3.0. At the top of this device, you can see the clone indicators, which are respectively 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. The hard drive slot is marked with source and target. This can at least prevent you from plugging in the hard drive into a wrong slot. The slot cover has an opening for 2.5 SSD or hard drive and if you wish to like insert a 3.5 just press it downwards and it will accommodate a bigger hard drive now at the back of the device you can see the button for the power and the switch for offline clone and for connecting to pc then there is another button for starting the clone and the usb um, port and for the DC power now we're going to test its offline cloning capability by copying this POS machine hard drive from the original to a copy the copy is an empty hard drive so I'm gonna clone the original 
and insert it to the source um, slot. Now when the source is sitting properly in the bay, then we can now insert the target disk. Both of these disks are SSD, so I guess cloning will be faster than cloning a regular hard disk uh, drive. Now let's plug the power in. At the back of which you can now press the power on and after switching it on you will see immediately that two of the LED lights for the target and the source will light up. Notice that when I pressed the power on we heard two beeps that was a self test for the machine. When performing an offline clone, just make sure that the clone switch is moved to the side where the label says clone. When everything is ready for cloning, we press the start button and you will hear a long beep. This indicates that the duplicating process is ongoing. The LED lights for clone indicators will blink in sequence and one by one it will turn on based on the percentage or the current progress of the cloning. So we're gonna leave it for a while and I'm gonna speed up the video to skip the long process of cloning these two SSD drives. We just heard three beep sounds. It means that the cloning process is already done and the hard drives are ready. Before we take out the hard drive, we must switch off the device. Now it's time to test if the target disk has indeed cloned the content of the original disk. Let's plug it in into the slot of the POS machine and let's go and check it out. Switch on the POS machine. By the way, this POS machine is, I mean the brand of this POS machine is POSIFLEX. And from my experience, I could recommend to everyone to use a POSIFLEX for POS machine. They are tough and easy to use. So there you go. We can see that it has cloned the OS of the original disk. And as you can see, now it's going to run the software for the POS machine. Let's see if it can log in my username and password. 
if I can log in successfully, this means that all of the configurations from the other hard drive is also transferred into this disk. Okay, there you go. You can see that, that the cache drawer has opened and the post printer has printed the initial post receipt. Okay, that's it for today's video. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments at the comment section below. And um, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.